Hello, my name is Vlad and I'm here on behalf of ITSystem.org to show you how to install the Linux operating system on your computer. Linux is an operating system distributed under the GNU GPL license in over 300 versions. What makes Linux special compared to other operating systems is that both its kernel and the applications are free software. The license concept is called copyleft, which contrary to copyright, gives free access to the sources of the programs and even the right to edit and redistribute them. Here I'll be installing Ubuntu. The latest Ubuntu version is 10.04, codenamed Lucid Links, and it has the following new characteristics. It has a new kernel version, 2.6.32, it boots up faster than the previous versions, and it also has enhanced support for NVIDIA video adapters. The first screen we'll see is this one, the Live CD boot screen. We'll double click on install Ubuntu. Then we'll have to select our language, English. We'll also select the time zone and the keyboard layout. The next step is specifying the partitions. We'll uh, click specify partitions manually. The first step is creating a swap um, partition. A one gigabyte partition of swap area will be enough. We'll also create a slash home partition so that we don't lose our documents when we decide to format or reinstall the operating system. In my case, it will be 600 megabytes. And create the main partition, mount point slash, which is the equivalent to the, the Windows C partition. The final configuration sh should be this one, and the slash and the slash home partitions should be formatted. We click on forward. The last step is um, selecting our username and our password. Be careful to sp specify a strong password. I if we would like, we can also migrate um, documents from other operating systems, like Windows 7 in my case. Also, don't worry, if you have um, Windows installed, uh, you will be prompted to select your operating system at boot time. Uh, so the op system is now ready to install. We click on install. And the, cop the files will be copied and the system will be installed. And, um, after some time, uh, usually 10 to 20 minutes, the installation will be finished and we, we have to restart the system. Uh, but first we'll have to remove the CD or the USB stick. And now I'll show you a couple of uh, new new stuff in Ubuntu 10. Uh, first of all, we have integrated support for social networks like Twitter or Facebook, so you can follow your accounts and manage your updates right from your desktop. You can go there by going to internet and here. <coughs> you can see your latest Facebook messages and Twitter. And you can also uh, post, uh, post your uh, tweets. You also have a new program to edit your videos, which was missing in the... Uh, actually, it wasn't missing, but didn't come pre-installed in previous versions. And of course, we have um, sp uh, special graphic co uh, called Compiz, uh, which is very cool which is something that Windows doesn't have by default. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, more video tutorials on itssystem.org slash blog. Have a nice day.